Hi everyone, it is day 59 of my one year of videos. Ooh, let's see, so today I came to the realization that three weeks of eating bread and pasta, along with other you know veggies and stuff, isn't working for me. Um, back in the States, I was eating gluten-free, no sugar, and I've been doing that for years, and it, it really helped. Um, I used to have really bad stomach pains all the time, and when I cut out the gluten and the sugar, you know, it, it rarely happened. And I was fine for the first two, two and a half weeks here in Cusco. And then um, the past few days have been awful. <laughs> you know, it's just, yeah, the pain, just pain all the time. And I didn't make the connection until I spoke with a friend. And, you know, and she helped me to see, okay, this is probably what it is. Um, yeah, and, and, and that's that's one thing that I notice is that sometimes I need to uh, voice things, talk talk about them with a friend or talk it out or whatever, and, and then it becomes clear to me. Um, if, if I just stay inside my head, um, boy, that, that can be a dangerous place. <laughs> it can take me, you know, in directions that aren't going to serve me. And, um, yeah, so my friend helped me to see that, you know, okay, look at the practical side first. Um, you know, because sometimes I want to go to the metaphysical side, like, okay, what is this stomach pain trying to tell me? And um, sometimes there are practical things that I can do. So, um, yeah, so I, I enjoyed um, eating more simply. It, 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 was, not, it was nice. Uh, but it looks like I'm going to have to do more cooking, quinoa, rice, and things like that. And, uh, yeah, make sure that I take good care of my body. And the other thing that I noticed today is I still have a lot of resistance to um, committing to anything. <laughs> and, th and this is this is new for me. Uh, I used to, wow, yeah, I used to really take comfort in structure and knowing when things were going to happen. And um, I shared in a previous video that the Spanish lessons I take in, were, were taking weren't working for me. Um, so I'm going to try someone else out just two hours, three times a week. And I, can, I feel this resentment inside me about the idea of committing because I think, well, you know, what if something else comes up that I want to do? Or, you know, or, you know, a friend wants to do something with me and... Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know what to do with it right now. <laughs> it's not like I'm afraid of commitment or structure. I mean, I was thinking about it. It was like, you know, after all, I was in the army, you know, for 17 years, <laughs> very structured and regimented. And, you know, for that time, it, it served me well. And, and I enjoyed um, that kind of lifestyle, but I don't anymore. Um, yeah. And I want to learn Spanish, but I don't know, maybe do, do I really want to learn it that badly? I guess if I did, then I would be willing to commit. So that's something I need to look at more, <laughs> maybe talk out more, maybe even doing it, you know, talking about it in these videos will help me work through it. But yeah, there's some resistance to, to doing that. Um, yeah, so I'm going to take a look at that. And, you know, whatever happens, happens. I may, you know, one day leave Peru not knowing that much Spanish, and that's okay. Um, yeah, I thought I was going to, you know, get really good at it, but it doesn't seem to be happening, at least not right now. It's only been three weeks. Anyways, I'm going to stop now because I feel like I'm rambling, and I'll see you all again tomorrow. Bye.